JTMLA9681's LPs. I am your host, JTMLA9681. And what is the time? It's Zaxxon time! Zaxxon! For the ColecoVision. And I died immediately. I'm not going to go into really much detail into, like, when the game was developed and everything. Um, but it was an arcade game. You can hear about some of that on my Zaxxon 26, Atari 2600 review. And you can just go from there. And this one, actually, on the ColecoVision is really good. I mean, it, it goes by what the arcade did. I did not even hit that. I know I shot that. Okay, I'm doing really horrible here. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and commit suicide. Uh, I said I was going to do it. There you go. Let's try this again. I haven't gotten much practice in this, but I want to go ahead and do a Let's Play. And... Like I was trying to say, this actually matches up with the arcade style quality to as much as it could. This is much, much closer than Atari 2600 and other versions. This is even better than Zaxxon 3D on the Sega Master System. Because that one you need to have like 3D glasses or something, whatever it is that you need to play that game. And <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm not going to be being that one. I almost died there. See, you gotta shoot the cylinders to regain uh, fuel. And I have turbo fire here because I don't feel like tapping the controller all the time or the button all the time. And it's just like in the 2600 version, you go into the black abyss zone or whatever you call it. And don't play chicken with those jets, you'll lose every time. Ah, like I just did. Like an idiot. And I haven't gotten past the first boss, because I don't know... Oh, oh come on, I shot that thing! But I don't know how to... Destroy it without getting hit by that stupid missile. Because no matter where I go, the missile destroys me. got these things which usually they're they're stationary but in here they move around don't know what they're called maybe they're dome heads I don't know and our first boss is a floating castle oh okay that's what you do you shoot the missile Okay, now I don't know if that means I have beaten the boss or the boss just escaped or if I have to do this over. Or um, maybe not. Hmm. I don't know. Ah, oh, come on! Yeah, the word Zaxxon is just fun to say. And they still had a great logo, even on the uh, ColecoVision cartridge and the box art and everything. Zaxxon! It's just so fun to say. Ah! Dag darn it. Yeah, um, YouTube and Google are being stupid again, and 
I got another, I got a strike on my backup channel, and so I'm down to 15-minute videos until sometime in February, when the strike is, oh, come on, I went up, so the strike is taken away. So, I, it's going to be a while before I actually do a lot of Let's Plays again. Oh, you, ah, I shot that missile, you booger face mongrel. Let's increase the difficulty and try again. I shot it! I did not choose two players. Oh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm not very good at Zaxxon. Never have been. I don't ever claim to be, so... Don't expect a good let's play on this. That's one thing about making let's plays is that you're not going to... Not everybody's going to like what everyone does. Some people like let's plays that you someone dies and gets games, game overs and has to restart or continue or whatever. And other people just want to see really good gameplay or it makes them want to bomb it and everything. Else. You know, it, that's ridiculous. I'm sorry. People who are like that, you are, I'm sorry, but you people are stupid who are like that. Ah! Oh, got killed there. Ah! I did not mean to do that. And second player can't get past the wall. Now, just like in my other Zaxxon video for the 26, say the names of different video games and then say and then put the name Zaxxon at the end and see which one stands out the most. It starts with a Z, it's at the end. So it's easy to find. Like Pac-Man. Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. You know, just try to say some names of games like that. Like Jungle Hunt, Frogger, Super Mario Brothers 2, the North American version, 007 Goldeneye on Nintendo 64. That's on! And then go and shoot the three dome head thingies, and there you go. Okay, I know, that's getting old already. And here we come with the floating castle once again. <laughs> See, that also helps you know where you are up against the wall. See, I would have hit that cylinder, which wouldn't have made any bit of sense. But, hey, that's... And I got hit. The pilot on player two must have jumped out. Of the, must have ejected from the jet. Because the jet ran into the wall and exploded. Ah. Oh, that thing can shoot sideways? Oh, don't want to get hit by the missiles. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know if this is making me start over because I didn't destroy the floating castle or what. But that's what I think it's doing. Fly through the fourth through the fourth field. Okay, 
uh, I've seen people fly through that force field and not get killed, so. Ah, what the? Alright, one last time. I don't know how you're supposed to get past this force field. I know I'm doing something wrong, but I didn't look it up, so. Zach's on, and hope you all enjoyed this. It's JT O'Malley 9681, and until next time, it's JT O'Malley 9681 signing off, leaving you with Zach's on for the Coinco Vision. Vision.